calculator, I drew this little robot arm. Um, it's just all vector, 100% simple drawing. Uh, the key to this is putting all of these on separate layers um, in accordance to how I want to animate them. So you'll see I have the claw on a separate layer and then I have the arm broken up into three sections and then I have the base as the final section. And all of these are placed in order um, so that they're on top of each other. So these two, which is technically arm one and arm three, are on top of arm two and then the, the claw is on top of all of them. So with this Illustrator file made, I will save it as .ai, just a native Illustrator file. And then we're going to hop over to After Effects. And with After Effects, all we have to do, sorry, let me hide these. In After Effects, um, I wanna make sure my project window is open and I'm going to grab my robot arm, my AI file, drag it over here into my project window. It's going to ask me if I want to make a new composition or footage. I'm going to choose composition and I'm going to go by based on the layer size. My illustrator file I made the full HD at 1920 by 1080 so it will make my After Effects composition that size. So I click OK and it'll drop in a composition over here and then I just double click on my composition and you will see that it pulls in those five layers from Illustrator, puts them in the timeline, and they are now ready to individually animate. So a couple things, you can command K and just double check that we have 1920 by 1080. I like 30 frames per second. And we can change our background to white, but let's remember that this white um, will not render. So we want to drop in um, I usually just draw a rectangle, or you can put a shape back here. Um, drop in a rectangle, and I'm going to have zero stroke on this. Um, take the stroke off, and I'm going to fill this with white. And then if you want, just as a kind of a reinforcing for your uh, remembering, just right-click and rename. And I'm going to call this white white background and then I will drop this layer all the way to the bottom and I'm going to lock that. So now I have white behind here and that will stay throughout my entire animation. So the first thing that I want to do is we're going to start with um, linking all of these to each other in this parent and link right here. So this will take a little bit of concentration but if you think about it the base itself is where we're going to start everything and that's going to be the movement that we, uh, we start with. So if I look at this piece here, this is arm number one. Arm number one, I want that to link to my base. And then I go to arm two up here, uh, sorry, arm two up here, I want that to link back to arm number one. And then arm three, I want that to link back uh, to arm two. And then the claw, I want that to link back to arm three. So these are the parents and these will all, the base is kind of the main parent. Each of these is a parent for the rest of them. So let's just open up the base and start our, an our animation. Let's just move the base over a little bit to start with. So right here, I'm going to click my uh, position. And then I'll just go for like one second here. I think that'll be good. And set the second, and then I'm just going to scoot this over a little bit. You'll notice that all of the layers, the three arm parts and the claw, are all moving with the base. That is because they are all linked as a parent kind of child to that. So that's far enough, I think, for this. So now we have just a little bit of an animation here in our first second. So we'll close up the base and then let's go to arm one. So arm one, when this goes over to the right, we want arm one to rotate. So what we're going to do is if you look here, the center point here is in the middle of the object, but we don't want it to rotate there. We want it to rotate down here so it looks like this robotic arm. So I'm going to go up here to the anchor point tool. It's kind of a two, two uh, part tool, pan behind 
an anchor point. So we click on this and we're going to just click and move our anchor point right down here to the middle of our piece. And then we will open up arm one and we will go to rotation. Make sure our current time indicator is right here. And we'll click on rotation. Set that first point. And then we'll go over to one, one second. And then we're going to go up to our rotate tool up here and we will rotate this. Just click anywhere inside of these nine dots and that will rotate. So let's rotate it to about like right there. Okay, so next would be arm two. So let's go down to arm two. We'll open that one up and we want to transform that one. So let's click on arm two. We also want to make sure that that anchor point is up here so it swivels along with arm one. Now we will set our rotation. We want to go back to zero. Rotation point one. Come up here to uh, one second. And now we're going to click rotation tool again. We'll rotate this. I kind of want this claw to look like it's opening up and coming over here to grab something in like a manufacturing environment or something. So I'm going to angle this so it's pretty close to reaching out there. And that is arm two. Then we'll go to, so now if we play through that, you'll see that as we move the base, arm one, segment, and arm two, they all work together, but they're hinged based on where we put that anchor point. So if I play this, that's how that works. All right, so let's go to arm three, open this one up for the controls, and we want arm three uh, let's set our anchor point up here and we'll set our rotation first here and then we'll move it over to that one second and then with our rotate tool we'll rotate that up so it's almost almost reaching out here um, to the edge on the right there okay so that one's done and then we'll go to the claw we will open up the claw uh, before we do that, I guess we'll just double check to make sure this is how we want it. That looks nice. All right. So then the last thing we want to do is to set the claw rotation. And we want to make sure, let me select the claw. We want to move the anchor point to the center. And then we want to rotate this. We'll set rotation here. I'll move this over to one inch. I'm sorry, one second. And then we will rotate this down. So this will be, I like that it's just kind of straight reaching out here. Okay, so that's it. So now we play this back. You'll see that this raises up, reaches out, and it grabs. So if I play that through. And if we feel like it's not moving far enough, we can go back to the base and just on this point here, just scooch it over. Oops, sorry if I'm on the right tool. Just move it over just a little bit so it almost grabs the side over here. Close that back up. And now it reaches out and grabs that. So that is using the parent and the link here, um, positioning everything accurately so one piece kind of rotates off of the other and makes it look like a movable arm. I hope that helps. Thank you.